a power tool. We're gonna to go hand. We're gonna go hands on with this. So this is actually day two. Uh, we are installing the rear fenders now. Uh, the front ones, we didn't actually do an install video or anything like that because uh, they're self-explanatory. You just use the same holes and, uh, and bolt it down. Uh, the back ones do require to uh, use rivets. So we'll be using the rivets and uh, getting that uh, installed.
You'll be able to feel it bottom out, I would imagine. Yeah. It will get fucking super hard. Right there. We should be good. Now, if we tighten it back in the other way to get it out, right? And then you should be able to spin this whole thing. Hold on. And then you should be able to spin this whole thing take out. Take this off and spin the whole thing and take it out. Oh, there we go. Is it in? Yeah. That's in. Fuck, <laughs> man. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate it, bro. No problem. Yeah. Fuck a power tool. We're gonna go hand. We're gonna go hands on with this. All right. So we gotta drill this hole out. So we're gonna do that again. Same way we did the first one here. Safety first. Well, we got into a little problem. This little tool here, uh, we didn't have the proper tool, so we tried to use something to kind of hold on to this, and we ended up chewing it out, and it ended up seizing up on us. So now we don't have a rivet setting tool. So we got to find a rivet gun and try to get these rivets in there before uh, we can finish up. So I guess uh, day three and try to finish this up. Now the next day I went to my local shop and asked them just to install the rivets. At this point everything was pretty much easy, bolt everything down. Projects do go much easier when you have the right tools, so make sure you have them. I really liked how it turned out, but uh, comment down below and let me know what you think.